Hello everyone, Juxtaposition here. Today's video will be entitled Krishna Venta, Cult Leader of San Fernando Valley. Of course, I'm referring to the region of Hollywood that was designated eventually for pornography filmmaking. San Fernando Valley, a military intelligence controlled kill box and propaganda creation studio set. All right, so when I talk about Krishna Venta, a person who was born in 1911 and served in the United States Army, of course, I'm not using his true birth name. He did legally change his name to Krishna Venta, and, um, but I wanted to uh, give you a little background on this character who's military intelligence all the way. Just like all cult leaders are. I don't believe there's a single cult leader on the planet Earth that didn't roll through British or KGB or Mossad or Army or Air Force or Marines or Navy intelligence programs. All right. I'm talking about Francis Herman Penkovic. He's a Jewish man. He was born on March 29, 1911. He died December 10th, 1958. And um, that means that he died at age 47 years old. So it's a little premature, wouldn't you agree? But if you're like me and you research military intelligence operatives, you realize they don't all live a natural death full life. That includes William Egan Colby, who was Army Airborne, who was murdered in his kitchen at age 76 and he was in charge of the Phoenix political terrorism program in Vietnam and he was associated with cleaning up the Watergate CIA burglaries which were botched deliberately on purpose by the way the burglars who all worked for CIA had conducted hundreds of burglaries burglaries meaning they entered offices or residencies to install surveillance listening devices. That's a burglary. When you enter a person's home without their permission to commit a felony crime, that is burglary. Not that the law matters. We're under maritime law and 99.999% uh, of the burglaries committed by the Watergate burglars were never prosecuted. There's no arraignment, no charging for 99.9% .9 of their burglaries. Anyway, so Francis Herman Panakvic, he was born in San Francisco, clandestine service, what became CIA San Francisco, military intelligence, home to the United States Army Presidio, built by the Spanish in 1776. San Francisco has been under military intelligence control since before the Revolutionary War. So... Um, it's, it's always confusing how to refer to my subjects since nobody uses their real name except Sharon Tate, Abigail Folger, Paul Tate, Timothy Leary, um, John Lennon, but uh, everybody else uses cover names, so it's confusing, and it's confusing deliberately on purpose. Anyway, so Krishna Venta, who's really Francis Herman Penkovic, he was born in San Francisco, but for some strange reason, his Romanian Jewish parents sent him to Elko, Nevada, which is about as far east as you can get in Nevada, the Silver State, the Silver Legacy State of Nevada. Anyway, what I wanted to tell you is that uh, he started his religion. He uh, went into the United States Army during World War II, of course. He married twice. He served in the U.S. Army during World War II. And then he decided upon his discharge of the United States Army spontaneously to create his own religion. He did that in April 1948. What do you think that uh, somebody tapped him on the shoulder and said, I think you should start a religion? That's what I think. I think you need a sponsor if you're going to be a cult leader. Anyway, so it started out innocently enough as a uh, United States Army veteran who's going to start his own religion. I mean, it happens every day, right? <sighs> he then went on to, to state, I am Christ. <laughs> what better way to start your religion by um, 
assuming the identity of Christianity, Christ. Krishna claimed to have been born on another planet, of course, like Anne Heche, you know. Neo Freites, 240,000 years ago, Krishna Venta was born. The, the planet that he was born on, Neo Frentes, purportedly occupied the same orbit as Earth does currently. Penkovic also alleged that it was humanity's first home, not Earth. It was Nefretes. Neo Fretes. Anyway, as the um, Penkovic canon goes on, Nefretes moved inextricably closer to the sun and then thus became uninhabitable because of global warming. Global warming. Now, this is all being rolled out in 1948. Climate change, cult leaders, United States Army intelligence, sponsorship, and we have a Jewish man who is Jesus. He's Christ. We have a Jew who is Christ. And he goes by the cover name Krishna Venta, even though his real name is Francis Herman Penkovic. Anyway, the name of his church, of course, had an acronym just like all military operations do, just like all banking military structures do, WKFL, 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 also known as the Fountain of the World, cult. <laughs> anyway, WKFL stands for Wisdom, Knowledge, Faith, and Love. Wisdom, Knowledge, Faith, and Love. Well, let me translate for you what WKFL really means. It means poppycock. It means helter-skelter. It means chaos, cackling, confusion of chaos. That's what it means. But anyway, the uh, Wikipedia wants you to believe that uh, this Jewish fellow um, who's taken the name of Christ and Krishna, Krishna Venta, has now moved into Box Canyon in Chatworth, California. In case you don't know, Box Canyon is a euphemism for the Spawn Movie Set Ranch, Chatworth Reservoir, the Grossman Burn Unit, a.k.a. Cosmetic Surgery Center, and home to Charlie Miles Maddox Manson, uh, who lived in Canoga Park, which is exactly five miles from where Krishna Venta made his home in Box Canyon, which is a military-controlled canyon. Get it? It's off of Santa Susana Pass. It's south. It's between what the area that has been renamed as West Hills, where the West Hills Medical Center, where Anne Heche was taken after her fake hoax, fiery car crash that never happened in real life. And they used the, the Peter Grossman Cosmetic Center, which they renamed Burn Unit, to tend for Anne Heche, who has a spaceship and takes the ecstasy drug and goes on breakup bender weekends when she breaks up with Ellen DeGeneres, the fake lesbian couple, and then wants to go off to heaven and introduce you to God. That's this area that I'm talking about, Box Canyon. So before Timothy Leary and his LSD psilocybin experiments, before Victor Paulikas, who brought you the freaks and the hippies, you know, in West Hollywood, Victor Polinkas, before him, before Frank Zappa, who brought you the Mothers of Invention, partnered with Victor Polinkas at the uh, Whiskey A Go Go, before them, and before Abby Hoffman brought you the Yippies, which is a hippie who becomes politically active. An activist hippie is a yippie. And before we had Abby Hoffman, another Jewish crisis actor, before we had Victor Polinkas, before we had Frank Zappa, before we had Timothy Leary, tune in, turn on, drop out, we had Krishna Venta. <laughs> Talk about rinse and repeat. In other words, Hollywood doesn't have one original idea, and that goes for all the music that's cranked out in a sausage factory where nobody knows who wrote what songs because they use teams of three and they use dozens of teams of three, one piano and two songwriters, to concoct different popular music songs, which are then consigned to artists who do, who do not own their music. Paul McCartney does not own his music. Neil Young does not own his music. 
Carol Klein King does not own her music, okay? The Beatles do not own their music. Michael Jackson does not own his music. Stevie Wonder does not own his music. Don't get me started on Ebony and Ivory, Stevie Wonder and Paul McCartney. They don't own that song. And uh, Say, Say, Say with Michael Jackson and Paul McCartney. They don't own that song. That is not their song. That is military intelligence, social engineering, cross-marketing. That's what that is. Paul McCartney didn't concoct the idea of getting together with Stevie Wonder in 1982 and Michael Jackson in 1983 and writing some hit songs. No, no, no. The handlers, military intelligence, Hollywood music industry, and New York, Manhattan decided that Paul McCartney would appear and be marketed on MTV. That has nothing to do with Paul McCartney. He's not in charge. He just, he just does what he's told under maritime law. And so did Krishnaventa, whose real name, of course, is Francis Herman Pankovic. All right, so what I tell you is he gets out of the Army, and then he's consigned property in Box Canyon, which is a military-controlled part of the Spawn Ranch, off of Santa Susana Pass and Highway 27, which takes you to Malibu, right? Topanga Canyon, Highway 27, takes you right past where... Jose and Kitty Menendez lived, where Terry Kath was murdered right off Highway 27, where Phil Hartman was murdered right off Highway 27, where Stephen Twitch Boss was murdered not too far from Highway 27 in Encino. Yes. Anyway, um, the Fountain of the World first gained national exposure in 1949 when the fake news reported that the Fountain members were among the first to offer egg to victims of an airplane crash, Standard Airlines Flight 897R, which had crashed into the Chatworth Reservoir there in the, near, near the Spawn Ranch and killing 35 of the 48 passengers who had embarked from Albuquerque, New Mexico, which by the way is a Department of Energy military facility. Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes. That's where Jeff Bezos' um, <laughs> mother's father, in other words his grandfather, he worked in Albuquerque, New Mexico. Yes, Jeff Bezos, his real name is Jorgensen, but they changed his name to a CIA name from Miguel Bezos of Cuba. Miguel Bezos is from Cuba. But Jeffrey Bezos' mother was born in Albuquerque, New Mexico, where the standard airlines flight 897 emanated from. You should know that that flight was headed to Burbank, uh, which at that time, in 1949, on July 12th, 1949, it was destined to go to the Burbank Airport, which was called, it wasn't called the Burbank Airport, it was called the Hollywood Lockheed Air Terminal. Today, it's called the Hollywood Burbank Airport. But back then, in 1949, it was named after Lockheed because Lockheed was a huge military contractor. You know, that John JonBenet Ramsey's father ended up working for, Lockheed. You know, the company that had the skunk works at that location in Burbank where Thane Eugene Caesar was employed in a high-security skunk works and murdered Robert Kennedy Sr. at the Wilshire Boulevard Ambassador Hotel. He worked for Lockheed at the Hollywood Lockheed Air Terminal. That's where this plane flight was uh, to land, just like Francis Gary Powers was supposed to land there too. Now, here's the thing, people. Since I know the geography really well, let me just tell you something. There is no way a passenger plane should be anywhere near Chatworth and the Spawn Ranch and the porn industry of Hollywood, there is no reason for that plane to be crashing into the hillside, which is not that high of a hill, you know, where Charlie Miles Manson was given housing. There's no reason. That is not the approach to the Burbank Airport. That is not the correct approach. He shouldn't be out that way. I can see that you could come in on the San Fernando Valley, but it would not be through the Spawn Ranch, and you would never be that low at that point. It's, that's 26 miles out from the airport. It does not require 26 miles to descend from the sky. All right? You don't have to be in a helicopter. 
And uh, I find it disturbing that this is where Colby Bryant's helicopter crashed, very close to this area. And this is not that far away from where Francis Car Gary Powers of the CIA Lockheed was murdered at the Sepulveda Dam Recreational Facilities, probably about, I'm going to estimate, about six miles from this crash site to the uh, east. And uh, he was a heck of a lot closer to the airport than this stupid plane, which is called... Uh, which is called uh, Standard Airlines Flight 897R. Anyway, this was how they introduced the Krishna Venta cult leader to the United States um, sheeple, to the citizens of the world. It was this terrible airplane crash that happened in Hollywood porn area, and it was the Krishna Venta cult that came to the aid of the victims. Like I said, only 13 of them survived. 13? What a coincidence. 13. And they provided humanitarian efforts, including trying to contain the wildfire that resulted from the airplane crash. Oh, yeah. Always have to have a fire, right? All right. So, anyway, I can go on. I'm going to post the uh, link here regarding the Krishna Venta biography, which is fake. He's fake, and so is this. He supposedly died in a suicide bombing, which sounds a lot like a murder. He died on December 10, 1958, again at the age of 47. It's very suspicious. Of course, so is the Phil Hartman death, so is the Stephen Twitchboss death, so is the Francis Gary Powers death, so is the Terry Kath murder in Woodland Hills, which is very close proximity to where this... Uh, Krishna Venta murder was, the Kobe Bryant helicopter crash, close proximity to this murder. So we have a lot of murders. They uh, attempt to weave Charlie Manson, who doesn't exist, Charlie Miles Maddox, and Susan Atkins. They try to weave them into the, uh, the fountain of the world cult. The fountain of the world cult, a.k.a. wisdom, knowledge, faith, and love, WKFL. Poppycock on that, just because you put Charlie Miles Maddox into Gresham Street at 21019 Gresham Street in Canoga Park, which is five miles away from Box, Box Canyon. Just because you did that doesn't, doesn't implicate him in the WKFL cult. And also be aware that in 1949, you know, Charlie Manson was, he was elsewhere. He wasn't even in California at that time. Oh, my God. Uh, anyway, I can go on and on. Uh, what I wanted to tell you is that uh, that they've been doing this cult leader nonsense before Jim Jones, before the Hare Krishna, before Transcendental Meditation and the Guru Maharishi. They have been pulling the Process Church and the Church of Scientology out of that rabbit's uh, hat. They've been doing it for a hundred years. There's nothing new here, people. I'm going to just kind of cut it off here. Uh, believe me, I can, do, I can do hours on this cult thing. But San Fernando Valley is a military complex. Gregory Peck went to school there at the St. John's Military Academy in Chatworth. Again, in close proximity to this crash site. San Fernando Valley has a number of military academy schools, as does Santa Monica, as does Studio City. San Fernando Valley is home to the charter school called the Birmingham High School. That's where Sally Fields went. That's where Cindy Williams went. That's where Michael Milken went, you know, the Jewish Wall Street, you know, philanderer. Michael Milken engaged in uh, junk bonds. And Michael Ovitz, who became the CEO of Disney Corporation, he attended the Birmingham High School. He's best friends with Michael Milken, of course. So you've got Sally Field, Cindy Williams, Michael Ovitz, Michael Milken, all attending the uh, Encino Birmingham High School, Charter School. We have Gregory Peck attending the St. John's Military Academy, which was Catholic at that time. Now I believe it's a Christian military academy. I mean, what goes better with Jesus than armed and loaded MK, you know, MK, M16 rifles? We have the Harvard Westlake School, which is located at two locations, Holmby Hills, right below the Sharon Tate murder scene, walking distance, I would say 650 yards away from 
the Abigail Folger Sharon Tate murder scene. You have the Harvard Westlake School. It began in 1900 as a military all boys school. But, uh, you know, it's the who's who graduated from the Harvard uh, Westlake School, right? You know, Elizabeth Taylor, uh, Elizabeth Taylor, no, Elizabeth Montgomery graduated from there, right? Elizabeth Montgomery. Um, we have uh, the who's who. We've got Shirley Temple went there. We've got uh, Maggie Gilhan went there. I believe her relative Jake Gilhan went there. Um, we have, uh, whoa, don't go away on me now. We have uh, Candace Bergen went there. My God, the list is just endless. John Lovitz, he went to the Harvard Westlake School where Sharon Tate was murdered right above it. Lily Collins, I have no idea who she is. She went there. It's a list of 100 people that you've heard of that are in Hollywood or politics um, or in the military went to this school. John Paul Getty went there. Eric Garcetti, who I believe is the mayor of Los Angeles. He's the son of Gil Garcetti, who was the district attorney of Los Angeles. He went to the Harvard Westlake School. Uh, I'll give you the list. I'll post it. It's disturbing. It's disturbing. It's very disturbing. These are indoctrination centers for future military operatives. That's who goes to the Harvard Westlake School. Moon Unit Zappa, of course, she's no exception. She went to the Oakwood School in Studio City. That is also an indoctrination center, just like the Westlake Harvard School is. And that's Frank Zappa's daughter. Frank Zappa is military intelligence. Frank Zappa's father was military intelligence. Frank Zappa's second wife's father was a Department of Energy Manhattan Project. That's military intelligence. Kate Capshaw, Bob Haldeman of Richard Nixon's administration, they, he went to the Harvard Westlake School in Holmby Hills. Um, the Crossroads Schools is where Jack Black, a.k.a. Jacob Black, Thomas Jacob Black, Jack Black, he went to the Crossroads School in Santa Monica. Um, Dakota Johnson, she went to both the Santa Catalina School in Monterey, you know, where Pat, Patricia Hurst went, where Abigail Folger went, where the Dr. Victor Oder's daughters went to that school. Dakota Johnson went to the Santa Catalina School in Monterey. Then she went to the New Roads School in Santa Monica, which is, a, is affiliated with the Crossroads School where Jack Black went. So we got the St. John's Military Academy, Crossroads School, New Roads School. I've got the Harvard Westlake School, the Oakwood School, the Birmingham Charter High School for Michael Milken and Michael Ovitz and Sally Fields. Most of these schools are in San Fernando Valley, you know, where they put Charlie Manson, you know, where they put Krishna Venta, you know, where they killed Phil Hartman, where they killed Francis Gary Powers, where they killed Kobe Bryant, where they killed Terry Kath of the Big Thing Chicago in 1978. It was not a suicide. It was a murder. Murder most foul. All right, that's it for today. That's enough. I can go on and on and on, but what I wanted to tell you is that... Uh, San Fernando Valley is military. It's used for cults. It's used for indoctrination schools. It's used for creation and production of pornography. And it's used to murder people from time to time periodically. The places you've heard are Van Nuys, Sherman Oaks, Encino, Chatworth, Northridge, Canoga Park, Woodland Hills, um, West Lake Village, West Hills, Hidden Hills, Lost Hills. Lost Hills is where they took Mel Gibson and turned his speeding ticket into a DUI conviction seven hours later. Charged him with a DUI seven hours after he was arrested. It took seven hours to figure out that maybe he was drunk. So I'm going to call poppycock on that. This is home to the Peter Grossman Burn Center, a.k.a. Cosmetic Surgery Center. Right there. This is where Box Canyon is. This is where this is this is where Krishna Vento was. This is where Jewel Berman's daughter in law spent time. You remember Louise Westerman, 
who had four husbands, one of which became became a Burman and was murdered in Death Valley under mysterious circumstances. She lived in Box Canyon. Perhaps, you know, around the time that uh, Charlie Manson was living in Pacific Palisades. In other words, the 1968, 1967, 68, 69, um, we have a Burman who went by West Urban living in Box Canyon, which was home to Krishna Venta, who had been done away with in 1958. Thanks for listening. Have a great day. Bye-bye.